let's get started. Yoga emotion. So we better get moving, I think. And but as we're all kind of in different places and spaces, I thought we'd start in the middle zone. It's always a space I like to sit. Sitting always feels a nice place to start. Don't forget you can always sit on a cushion um, if you feel like you need your hips to elevate a little bit. So just rub the hands together. At this point in the day, sometimes it's good just to shake off the energy. You just shake that off. Shake off what's... Take a few deep breaths. You might want to just like, uh, sweep the arms as well, just sweeping, sweep the body, sweep the back, just to kind of bring ourselves attention to the body as well. It's very much um, something we have to actually do actively is to actually take our attention to the body and the ground that we're sitting on. Okay, maybe even the face as well, the head, the neck. So you're just kind of giving yourself a little bit of a shower with your own touch. And the touch of your own, you know, your hands to yourself is really important as well self-care and just acknowledgement of yourself so let's take a, again to connect the energy uh, to recalibrate it we put the right hand on the left shoulder we're going to sweep from the left shoulder down to the right hip nice one sweep we'll do a few of those two three and then we'll do the left hand on the right shoulder sweeping from the right shoulder to the left hip one two three and then we're going to just insert the fingers and extend the hands up. Extending through the elbows, keep the shoulders down to so lots of space. Don't forget to keep the back of the neck long. So to do that, we need to keep the chin. It's like tucking the chin in and also feeling the back of the neck getting longer. You will feel, hopefully, as if you're, uh, if you feel your abdominals engage. And when your abdominals are engaged, you know that your lower back is getting supported. So this mutual support, the back and the front, we want to start to develop. When we practice in our yoga, this um, neutral relationship, then it starts to come into life. It starts becoming more active. One more breath in. And as you breathe out, lower the arms down. Good. And let's just um, bring the hands to the heart. We're going to move and breathe. We want to get movement is everything, particularly in these difficult times, chaotic times, moving. So breathing in, open the arms wide, take the fingers right back. And breathing out, take the hands forward, bringing them back to the heart center. Very simple little practice. Opening the hands wide, fingers going back, opening the chest, and breathing out, bring the hands back to the heart center. And we're just doing this in time with your breath, but keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils. And hopefully, just by being mindful to the breath and the body, this will help to maybe slow down and lengthen the breath. And as I always say, the key part of the breath, if you're going to focus on anything, really focus on breathing everything out. Because as soon as we lengthen the out breath by squeezing everything out, emptying, it invites a deeper in breath. And immediately we've lengthened and slowed the breath. Immediately we're starting to feel more calm and centered and grounded. So it's, it's um, very useful. So let's just come into a twist again, just to move the energy, put the right hand on the left knee. Put your left hand behind you, maybe onto the fingers or fingertips. Ever so important, bending forwards or backwards or twisting, always lengthen first. So I suggest you lift the sternum but keep the shoulders down. This is a good place. You're going to feel the abdominals engage. Breathe in. As you breathe out, feel the whole body twisting around to the left. So the left ribs are coming around, the left chest, the left shoulder, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. Every inhale, Feel the back of the neck lifting up, the crown of the head is lifting up to the sky. And pick, keep hold, a good, a good hold of that left knee, so you can kind of push it against it a little bit, but without force or strain. Inhaling, lengthen up, shoulders down. Head on top of the body, on top of the spine, not in front. And breathing out, we're twisting a little deeper, we're squeezing out, squeezing out anything that's in the way, any blockages. Breathing in one more time, and releasing, sitting back to the front again. And just how that feels, maybe have a little wriggle. Kind of feels nice, things starting to move. Left hand on the right knee, take the right hand behind you. Make sure it's not leaning back, keeping the body upright. So your center is upright. Breathe in, lengthen that upright. And as you breathe out, feel the right ribs coming around to the right on the exhale. Inhaling, lengthen, every inhale, lengthen. 
Feel the right chest coming around to the right, the right shoulder, the head, the eyes, the nose. Everything is turning to look behind you. Drop the shoulders down, long back of the neck. You will feel that in your abdominals. Every in-breath is a reminder to, to lengthen, to lift, to take the shoulders down. We're energizing the body. And, and starting to identify where we might be blocked or have tension. Inhale again, and exhaling, come to the front again. Always with the breath, everything with the breath. Left hand on the left side. I always think the sides of the body is where we can get a little bit of our emotions kind of get caught up there. So we're gonna free that up a little bit, give it some space. Breathing in, lift the right arm up to the ceiling, to the sky, and watch it with your eyes so you're keeping your attention focused. And on the out breath, reaching over the body, right over the body, try not to let it flop in front of the face, it's coming over the body, and to check that's happening, you can look up on the inside of that arm up to the ceiling so it's not in front of your face. Bend into the left elbow, really reaching over. Try and keep both sitting bones down rather than lifting up. Because then we're getting lots of length in this right side, opening up the ribs, the side waist. Yeah, can you feel that? Good. Breathe deeply. Use the inhale to lift up. Everything is easy when we incorporate the breath, out breath. Watching that right hand come down and land on the ground, fingers spread wide. Breathe in, lifting that left arm up. Fingertips are reaching up to the ceiling, and as you breathe out, you're reaching over the body. Good, looking up. If your neck is okay, you can look up to the ceiling on the inside of the arm. So you're opening up the shoulder, you're opening up the armpits, you're opening up the whole side of the body. Fingertips are reaching right over, as if they want to touch the ground there. Bending into that right elbow. Breathe deeply. So your breath will be a bit constricted here, but it's a good place to, to really expand the capacity for breath. Use the inhale to come up, and the exhale, the arms are coming down. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So now we're just going to look at the neck as well. I was just remembering what, what I want to do. I don't, I don't do the neck enough, I don't think. I probably for myself either. So reaching up for the right hand, and take the hand to the back of the neck. But remembering we're taking the fingers just below that left ear. Maybe you can feel the top edge of that hand in contact with the, with the edge of the skull there. Reaching up that right elbow, sitting tall. As you breathe out, just let that all kind of flop forward. So the head, the weight of the head is coming forwards. The arm is just letting go and releasing its weight to the back of the head. And then just start to let the weight fall onto that back of the head so that your nose starts to point towards your left knee. So what we're really thinking about is just creating space in the left side of the neck, but without pushing or forcing. We're just using gravity, the shape of the body, our breath, directing our breath to this space. It's not just the side of the neck, it works into the shoulder and into the back. Of course, the neck works into the, the head as well, into the jaw and the skull. So everything is connected. Release, breathe deep. Use the inhale to lift up. So we're coming out of it softly. We're not, you know, jerking out a bit because the neck is very delicate. And remove that right hand. Good, how does that feel? Ah, yeah, nice. Lifting up the left hand into the sky and taking that left hand onto the back of the neck with the fingers around just below the right ear there. Just lightly holding the neck, breathe in. And as you breathe out, your chin is coming to the chest, the head is coming forwards. You're letting your back just curve naturally, just letting the weight hang forwards. And then as you really let that go, your nose naturally starts to point towards your right knee this time. Breathe deeply. Direct your breath into the right side of the neck. So we're doing this with ease, with the breath, with our intention. So our necks are becoming open, we're creating space. With real care and attention and compassion for ourselves, because this is a very delicate area, very easily injured. Use the inhale to lift up slowly. Slow, inhale, lift up and release. And just see how that feels. Maybe just moving it softly, not spinning around, <laughs> doing anything um, too strong. And we're going to take the legs out stretch because sometimes it feels like, oh, my legs need a stretch now because they're a bit achy. And um, fairly wide, but not, you know, not, you don't want to push that because these in, interior of the thighs can be very, very uh, delicate again. But the toes are pointing upwards. If you need to sit on a cushion to, uh, to make this happen, or even if you need to bend the knee slightly, that's fine. Work from where you are. 
don't just rest on the knees. We're going to stir the porridge. I love to stir the porridge. I love porridge. <laughs> Breathing in, lift the chest, lengthen the front of the body there. Shoulders down. As you breathe out, you're going to lean forward with a straight back. Keep the head on top of the body. And as you breathe in, you're going to go round to the right and back. Try to keep the integrity of that upright, loving, open spine. Inhaling as you lean back to make space for the air. And exhaling as you come forward, making the circle really big. So see how far back and how far around. You move within your range all the time. You should be feeling your abdominals are working all the time to do this. And you're also feeling a sense of just warming up the lower part of the, the spine, but also the hips. This is um, really starting to get a bit more mobility and fluidity in the hip joint as well. So it's a fantastic one, this one. Come back to the centre, breathe it again. Going to go the other way, so breathing out, leaning forwards, and going around to the left this time, or whichever way you didn't go last time if you weren't doing the same as me. Breathing out, leaning forwards. It's almost like if you wanted to keep a focus of attention, Maybe the centre of your heart space, so right in the middle of the body. And thinking about that doing a big circle, it's, 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 um, it's having an orbit, it's having this little orbit. This little heart planet is going around in this little orbit, breathing out and breathing in, come back to the centre once again. So we'll keep the legs outstretched, maybe give them a little bit of a bounce, just so they're feeling lively still. Why not practice the lion? one of my favorites, so we're gonna practice that now because we might have stirred up some energy, now we need to release something. So the hands, actually the hands can come here. If you feel like you need a bit more engagement, you can make these claws come onto the ground and the lion's just kind of pounced. Or if you prefer, you can have this movement. So you can choose. I'm gonna do this one because I always do this one, but you can choose the hands go out like this or they come smack down on the ground. You have to feeling that kind of kicking up the earth feeling for myself today. And this is how it goes. The tongue comes out the mouth, like as if you want to touch the floor with it, like really strong. And the eyes are super wide, like your eyebrows want to come up the top of the head. And the sound is coming out the mouth, uh, like a rasping sound in the throat, breathing in, like this. <sighs> so that's the facial part and the sound. So you might want to practice that a couple of times, but we'll, we'll do the line about three times so you get to warm up. Okay, so you might want to start off with the hands at the heart center. Breathing in. Yeah, it feels good to engage with the ground. Breathing in. And again, one more. Breathing in. Good. Whoa, it feels better. Whoa, a bit of release. And now we're going to come into all fours position. This cat position. So the space between the knees, knees underneath the hips. We're in a tabletop, so it's even, and the hands are underneath the shoulders. Important that you don't lock those elbows, keep them soft, like an animal, you know, everything is kind of fluid. So first of all, we're just going to um, move the spine in a very simple cat stretch. As you breathe in, you lift your eyes to look forwards, and as that happens, notice what's happening. My chest comes forward, my shoulders come back. And you might find the back dips slightly. We're not making that pronounced thing. We're not trying to do that too much. That's inhaling. As you exhale, take a focus to your base of your spine and start to curve it. Try to start to imagine it's going to point down, or as if you had a tail, it'd be going between your legs. And you're lifting up the centre of the back. Exhaling, chin comes to the chest. Now as you inhale, you start from the same place. You start to lift that tail. And the ripple comes up through your spine. Until your chest comes forward, the shoulders are back. Breathing out, breathing in and out through the nostrils, you're arching the spine, look back towards your legs. Inhaling, you're starting by flattening the back, the tail starts to lift, it starts to ripple up through the spine, your chest comes forward, shoulders back, looking up. Same thing. So do this a time with your breath, don't worry if you're faster or slower than me, that's absolutely fine. And even I invite you to close your eyes so you can feel your spine. So you can engage with it. You can match the movement to your breath. Try to make sure also that you're keeping your fingers spread wide and your knuckles are not lifting off the ground because you will put too much pressure on your wrists and then you won't be able to practice this. Breathing in, lift up. Yeah, open the chest. The heart is flying forwards and upwards. And then you just, ah, oh, yeah, giving that lovely arch to the spine. You know how you see cats doing that and how good it looks. 
how good it looks like it must feel so great it does feel great giving energy to the spinal column engaging with your nervous system and the subtle energy of the body kundalini the prana good take a little rest sit back into the heels now so finish what you're doing and then sit back you might want to take the slide the hands forwards and bring your forehead to the ground some of you might feel more comfortable if you have a cushion between behind your knees and you also might feel more comfortable if you widen your knees the body sometimes feels more comfortable between the knees there so i invite you to do that also another thing is you can place your hands underneath your head if you're finding your head doesn't reach the ground or if you feel like that's better for you let's just have a little moment of repose so breathing into the nostrils and sigh out through the mouth just notice how you're feeling notice how your body is feeling any movement any feeling any emotion anything any content this is all content none of it is permanent you know this will change so acknowledge it notice it allow it to move that's why the word is emotion the motion part is important so looking at your hands in front of you the hands stretched out now so if you're underneath your head stretch them out again use the inhale to come up onto all fours use the exhale to lower the hips down chest is coming nice and wide inhaling lifting up the bottom lifting up and as you breathe out sit back into the heels send the bottom back to the heels inhaling come up exhaling taking the chest forwards open wide breathing in how does that feel to really give breath to the body get into all the nooks and crannies and to completely empty out empty 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 sometimes we don't empty out our breath because maybe we're afraid that there's not going to be a new breath <laughs> so really you know take that risk breathe out fully trust that a new breath will just show up the next breath will just be there and it's just kind of coming in and we're just controlling or creating a valve so we are controlling the flow of the breath rather than it being a big whoosh in or out we keep a steady even flow breathing out enjoy yeah breathing in one more time and breathing out one more time ending up sitting back into the heels once more let's come back to all fours i'm going to do um a version of the cat which i call freestyle cat or sometimes i call it dis disco cat because <laughs> it's just funny to me it can be too serious right so disco cat first of all you imagine a beautiful tail coming from from your what's left of your tail yeah the base of your spine and it can be any tail you like because it's yours a big foxy tail a squirrel tail a cat tail a monkey tail but it should be very swishy and, and beautiful so i want you to imagine you're showing that tail off so you're going to start off with small circles so you're just rotating the base of the spine as if you were just rotating and shaking your tail feather or your lovely swishy tail don't forget to keep the hands engaged with the ground fingers spread wide elbows nice and soft because we're going to get very much fluid motion this is going to get into the spine into the hips we're going to get some lovely kind of embodied soft body movement so moving and you might start to notice other parts of the body as you get that circle bigger start to want to join in i'm really getting my back starting to get really involved my elbows start to bend i start to find wow yeah my the sides of my body are kind of moving kind of a little less uniformly there are no straight lines in the body and this is us playing with and discovering the spirals that are there let your elbows bend down let your head move the neck can be freed up you can let the you can rotate not too strongly but just with the breath so this is with the breath one more circle around and then just come to a stillness we need to just have a little have a little moment before we're going to go the other way as well just to uh, release the wrist because that's you know strong on the, the hands and the wrists into the fingers let's just move those hands a little bit one way and then the other way it's not so easy the other way not so natural and then just make these little starry hands just to release the hands and shake them out a little bit just to shake off that energy and we can return to this position don't forget to keep those elbows soft let's go the other way so if you're thinking oh i don't know what the other way is it's the opposite way to the way that you would normally go so i think it's for me it's anti-clockwise 
So we're returning to this starting small, starting small, and then, you know, you can close your eyes doing this. This is really giving your body a chance to do what it wants to do. We're using, we're starting from the base, the base of the body, the root, our root. So from our root, everything grows and flows, and it's like, yeah. Body goes, yes, please, I want to have some fun, let's move, let me move freely. Let your body come down to the ground. Really let that ripple, that rolling come into the whole, as much of the body as feels good to you. you know? Really let it roll around, breathe with it. This is body and breath, close your eyes, feel, feel, feel. Let everything move, what hasn't been moved, what's gotten stuck, give it space. So it can move. And this can be very moving, you know. People can, you can get very, uh, a lot of emotions, stuck emotions, feelings can come out when we do this. So it's nothing wrong with that. Allow yourself, give yourself that space. Sit back on the heels now. And we'll bring the forward to the ground once more, all the back of the hands. And let's come into the child pose and so the hands come back. And we'll just have a little rock side to side. So we're just going to have a little rock and breathe. So we're going to release the breath now. So breathe in through our nostrils. And sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Think about what you want to release and let go of. Breathing in through the nostrils. <sighs> it's um, you know, it's not so easy to look to let go of things. Sometimes that's a difficult that's a difficult way of looking at it. That's just to think about loosening your grip. I think because you know, letting go feels like you're pushing something away before it's before it's been processed, and that's never going to work. It's going to come back stronger. So that's just to let it unravel, let it process, let, let go of clinging to these things. So what's next? We're going to do um, downward dog. So let's just uh, take the hands forwards, come up onto all fours. So don't forget, this is not in the tabletop. There's more space between the hands and the knees. Tuck the toes under, in, inhaling. And on the exhale, lift the knees off the ground. Let's walk the dog a little bit. So push back through the hands. The head wants to almost come to the ground here, so it's not looking at the hands. That's not going to be very useful. So walking the dog is just getting a bit of energy in the backs of the legs. We'll push the right heel down, bend the left knee, push the left heel down, bend the right knee. Keep the tummy tucked in. So we're not breathing into the belly here. We're breathing into the chest, between the shoulder blades, into the heart space, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, elbows slightly soft. Keeping the fingers spread wide, pressing into the palms. Breathe, feel that lengthening that's happening in the spine. Good. Now walk the feet towards the hands, bend the knees, let the whole body hang forwards. Breathe into the nostrils. Big sigh, audible sigh after the mouth. Ah, yeah. And do that a few times. Enjoy and release. Good. And we'll even have a little swing here, a slow swing. We're not kind of, you know, shaking it up. We're just rocking. When we do this slowly, we can probably really feel maybe where it's affecting the lower back and into the hips. Let the arms hang heavy, or you can take hold of the elbows. That's up to you. Most important is the head is heavy. You release the neck. The neck has to hold this big, heavy head up all day. So give it a break. Giving weight. The weight of the head to the neck is releasing, rocking a little bit, come to a stillness, take all the focus. I can feel the sunshine on the base of my spine. So whether you can or can't, imagine the beautiful sunshine from the base of your spine, maybe at your root, your little flower. And it's lightening you up from the inside, rolling up, brightening you, giving you space, spaciousness in the spinal column, lightness and brightness as you come to stand. Well, yeah, we made it to standing. Good job. Let's um, just bring the shoulders up, breathe in. Hold them, hold the breath in, and then out through the mouth. Again, all about the release. Breathing in. Out through the mouth. And again, breathe in. Out through the mouth. And I really feel we need an extra one of these today, so breathe in. Hold, hold, hold. And out through the mouth. Good. Let's Roll the shoulders back. So again, this area gets very tense. So we're gonna just give it a bit of space and time. And as your shoulders start to rotate, you're gonna exploring the range of motion in the shoulder. 
Then the elbows start joining and you start lifting the elbows. Good. And you're breathing all the time. The knees are bending, the knees are joining in. So, you know, let the body join in. It's not all just one part. We're not just focusing on one part. We're focusing on the whole. So the breath helps you with that. Now, as if by magic, my arms are just kind of coming up right up by my head. And I'm making these big circles. And I'm feeling openness in my chest. And another little tip here, think about, imagine that, that rather than lifting your arms, think about um, you're lifting just the finger, fingernails, the fingertips, and then lifting up, how nice that feels. Sit the shoulders forward, so just hunching forwards. Again, softening the knees, let them join in. Breathe, breathe, in and out through the nostrils. Allow your elbows to rise up. Movement, breath, moving with your breath, with your body. Paying attention to how you feel, what's moving, what's being moved. And you find, as if by magic again, your arms are right up by your ears, the whole body is just feeling this and being moved by the breath. It just makes everything so much easier, almost effortless. It's just the breath is doing all the work, fingertips are just lifting up, no effort, no strain. And just let the arms swing. We're just going to let them be a bit wider on the legs. Knees are nice and bent. I'm just going to do these little, this is like a, uh, I was thinking this is being, being like an ape orangutan. This is my invention, so I'm going to call this the orangutan. I'm calling it like. <laughs> yeah, bending the knees and let the arms be super heavy, swinging around. Oh, it's a nice feeling in the shoulders now. Let's energize, build up the battery. So bring the sides of the feet together. We're going to squeeze the legs together. We're going to lift the arms above the head, breathing in. And we're going to bring the hands together. I know you can't see them, but they're right together here. You can even link, interlink the fingers if you like that feeling. It'll help you to extend upwards. It's up to you. Now, as you inhale, we were inhaling, bringing the arms up, but inhaling, you're going to lift the heels off the ground, but keep squeezing the legs and arms together. Hold the breath in. We're building up the battery. And as you breathe out, slowly bring the hands down. So you turn your palms and the pans, the palms of the hands are coming down to the sides of the body. So then, we're going to do a couple more of these. We, we open the hands up. So we're opening the insides of the arms. We're breathing in. We're lifting up off the, off the heels, onto the tippy toes. Bring the arms together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold the breath in for a second. Turn the hands. And as you breathe out, they're coming back down. Slowly bring the heels back down to the earth. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Out breath, out breath. One more of these. Open the hands up. Building up the battery. Squeeze the legs together, heels are off the ground, hold the breath in, 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 turn the palms and breathing out slowly. See if you can release the breath slowly, have a little bit of control so it's steady stream of breath. Beautiful. Go take the wrists. Watching them, you know, rather than just kind of like, it's not so interesting, really noticing your body. Wow, oh, it feels beautiful. And even let the elbows join in. So they're getting this lovely spiraling feeling, keep the knees soft. And then we'll just rotate them the other way. So rotating the wrists. You might think about the fingers drawing circles. And then let the elbows join in. So the whole arms are just kind of, ah, yeah, it's just flowing and floating. Light, light arms. No effort. Good. And uh, we're coming to a little cross crawl here. So we're just going to lift the left knee and smack it with the right hand. Again, this cross crawl, this cross motion, it's repatterning our energy. It can get stagnant, our energy. And so by doing these cross movements, cross lateral, this will repattern and revive us and also help our brain and body work together. So we do this, there's quite a few of these, but we'll just do about three of these today. So extending the leg and meeting it with the opposite hand. Good. Keeping it nice and light by keeping your breath moving. Don't hold your breath. We all do that, right? Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep the breath moving in and out. And take the leg out to the side. Uh, so the left leg's coming out to the side, the right arm is coming over your head. So we get this lovely opening on the right side. So it looks like this. We just keep changing over. Breathing in and out through the nostrils the whole time. We're limbering and preparing the body. And getting the brain and the body to work together to coordinate. So we get more coordinated, more poised. Let me see. Oh yes, well, actually one more thing that's just really important for moving energy is again, we have, our, we have the ability to touch. And these little thumps, body thumps, lower back. Oh, waking up that dormant energy, 
kundalini and then getting the, uh, the knuckles either side of that lower spine. Whoa, brightening, yeah? You feel that brightening energy, that electricity coming up through the whole spine, brightening it up, beautiful. And now take the hands, the fingers to the chest area, just pummel that whole chest area, brighten up, brighten up that chest, opening the heart, bringing them into the heart center, the sternum, and then down and around to the sides. This is a great, great area here, on the side of the ribs, top of the rib cage there, brightening that up. And also, um, here's two very important points. You'll find with the thumb and the first finger, you're just sitting underneath the collarbone, there's little hollows, and just give that a little bit of a, a rub. It might be a little bit kind of a, almost a sore spot, but breathe with that. These um, particular things are from energy yoga practices and uh, brain gin is another really good source of these interesting things. So let's uh, start with a standing posture, some standing postures. We're going to come to the front of the mat. So I'm going to step into these postures. I love to do this to develop poise. Feet, look at them. Lift the toes, place them down. They are hips width apart and they are parallel. Bring the weight into the left foot. I'm going to step into Trikonasana, triangle. So the right foot is going to step back a good distance, one of your leg lengths maybe, but not as wide as a warrior. Square the hips to the long edge of the mat in front of you. Breathe in, lift the arms up high. But also lift the, the chest, the rib cage. Keep that lift as you breathe out and bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the palms, open the chest. That's the inhale. The exhale is reaching over to your left and then down. That left arm makes contact with the leg, could be anywhere on that leg. And then the right arm is in the opposing direction, it's reaching up. And as that arm reaches up, notice how I'm turning my head, or if I'm not turning my head, I'm turning my chest, most importantly. Another option I don't often mention, but just in case, if this feels too strong, lifting that arm, you can always place the arm behind the back, because the key part it really is opening that chest. But I like, it sometimes helps, imagining or feeling the fingertips lifting up to the sky. Soften the knees, feel the ground with your feet. Feel that right hip is just really sturdy and holding that in place. Good, using the inhale, maybe bending into the left knee slightly to lift you up. And lowering the arms on the exhale, bend into the right knee to bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do something about this because I think it's going to cause some problems. Sorry about that. I'm probably still going to do it, never mind. <laughs> I try. So put the weight onto the right foot now. Other side, step back with the left. So square the hips to the long edge of the mat, breathe in, lift the arms up. Look up, and as you breathe out, you bring the hands down to shoulder height. As you breathe in, you open the chest, open the hands to face forwards. And as you breathe out, you're reaching over to the right and down. Make contact with that leg, wherever it reaches, and reach up through the left. Make sure you're not compromising your posture by going down to the ground when you when you come out of line really because then if you find your hip falls forward don't go so far down it doesn't it's not important you reach the leg wherever you do and you press against it back or front of hand so that your chest is opening there's a twist in this posture turn your head to look up at the fingertips if your neck allows you to try not to lock the knees breathe deeply breathe deeply use the inhale to come up maybe bending into that right knee on the exhale, lower the arms down, bend into the left knee and spring yourself back to the front of the mat. Okay. We're going to come into reverse triangle, which starts the same as triangle. I know this is not everyone's favourite, but you know it's a great one. Twisting, great for the spine. Put the weight onto the left foot and step back with the right as before. But now we take both feet to point forward, so they're parallel. I'm just going to adjust because I'm going to be knocking into that. So as you inhale, lift up the arms. As you exhale, lower the arms down to shoulder height. Inhale again, open the chest. Exhale, turn to your right. So you're looking down the outside of the right leg. Inhale again here. Very important, you follow this breath. And as you exhale, the left hand is coming down to the outside of the right leg. And at the same time, you reach up with the right hand up to the ceiling. So we're getting quite a strong twist here. You could soften the knees if, if it's feeling too strong for you. And you don't, you don't need to be right down by the ankle. That's just where I am. You could be 
much further up the leg. Depends where you're at right now. Work where you're at. Good, breathe deeply. This is a strong posture. So we're not gonna whip up out of this. We're going to come down into a forward bend. So right hand on the right foot, left hand on the left foot. And breathe here. Good. So we're going to just uh, use a bit of back strength here. So lifting the gaze, so you're lifted up your chest, but your back is parallel to the, to the ground, your spine. And take your hands to your hips, look forwards, strong legs, strong buttocks, strong belly to keep that back supported. If you need more support, you can place the hands on the lower back. But breathe here, take the chest forward, shoulders back. Breathe in and out. Use the inhale to lift yourself back up to standing with a straight back, straight legs. And breathe out. Drop the hands. Good. Other side now, breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, arms come down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest. Breathing out, turn to your left, looking down the left side. Breathe in here, and as you breathe out, right hand comes down to the outside of the left leg. You can go down as far as the ankle if you want to. You don't have to. Reaching up with the left hand. So there's a twist, a strong twist. You look up at that left hand if your neck allows. And you twist in your chest towards the ceiling too. Don't force in this position. You know, you're twisting and bending at the same time. So we need to really give it some breath. Practice with care and caution. Notice what's happening in the body. And then we're going to come back down with forward bend. Place one hand on top of each foot. And bend the knees, and we come into a, a wide leg ragdoll. So this is a recovery position. So let the head drop. Relax the neck. Bend the knees. Let the arms fall forwards. Breathe in through the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> release. So giving the back a bit of release, a bit of relief. Let's just straighten the legs a little bit here. I'm just going to just play around here a bit. So we're going to take the fingers to the center. And now I'm going to walk over to the left and just see how far around to the left you're comfortable to go. On your fingertips, you need to bend the knees, bend the knees, and we'll come back slowly, walking the hands back to the center, and then we'll walk it around to the right. See how that feels. Notice what's going on in the body when we move around in this way. Maybe it will free up a little bit of tension there as well. So we're going to again take the hands to the center, bring the fingertips to the center, use the inhale to lift up, look forwards, chest forwards, exhaling, forward bend. Bend the knees now, let the body hang once more in the right leg rag doll, and we're going to slowly unfurl, leaving the head heavy, leaving the arms heavy, keeping the knees bent, lifting up from the base of the spine, traveling up through the spine until we're coming up to standing once more, and then either walk or creep the feet together. Give the legs a little shake. Yeah. Notice how you're feeling. How is your energy? Why are you? What, what are you feeling in your body? So hopefully that movement and a bit of bringing a bit of energy and uh, maybe freeing up some tension. We have more power to come into our warrior posture. Warrior two. Great posture. Love this posture. Feet again, reset, lift the toes, place them down, put the weight onto the left foot. Step back, bigger step with the right foot. If you need to just shuffle that back a bit further, you can. Again, hips level with the long edge of the mat. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Lift the chest, breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, extend between the fingertips. And as you breathe out, you bend into the left knee and at the same time, you push back into that right foot. So there is that dynamic for you. Really, really makes the difference. Otherwise, it's gonna be like this. And that's not fun. You're kind of out of balance and you're not gonna be a very good warrior if all your weight is going forwards. So we put some strong grounding, anchoring into the back, right, uh, the right foot there. Look down the left arm. Let's just move with this a little bit. Well, I'm very keen on moving and breathing. So. Breathing in, lifting up, straightening the legs, breathing out, bending into that, and sinking into the warrior. So inhaling up, lift the chest, exhaling again. Keep remembering as you bend that knee forwards, the knee goes forward, the right hip foot pushes back. Also check that the knee is going in the same direction as your toes. 
if it's not, adjust the position of your toes, you know, adjust that front foot so it's going in alignment. Use your breath to move, inhaling, exhaling. One more, inhaling, exhaling. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Keep extending, keep pushing into that back foot. You should feel that in that right buttock as well, that's keeping that in place. Looking down the left arm, shoulders down, away from your ears. Now use the inhale to come up. Lower the arms on the exhale. You can bend into that right knee, my feet are slipping on this a bit, and spring back to the front of the mat. Yeah, it's quite a big leap there. If you're doing that in one or two steps, it's totally fine if it's more than one. Reset, okay. Put the weight onto the right foot. You're going to step back with the left. Big step. S square the hips to the long edge of the mat in front of you. Breathe in. Lift the arms up. Lift the chest. Breathing out. Lower the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in. Fingertip to fingertip expansion. Breathing out. Bending into that right knee. It's hovering above the ankle. No further. Send some weight into the back foot. Really feel that powerful dynamic. That's where you're going to get your energy from, it's just creating that dynamic and you'll find you get balance from that, power. Also you can use the pelvic floor, drawing up the pelvic floor or mula banda, really drawing that up to give yourself even more stability in this posture. Let's move in and out, breathing in, lifting up, straightening the legs, breathing out. Think about the body's going down rather than the body going forwards. Breathing in. Lifting the chest, breathing out, bending into that right knee. It's going in the same direction as the toes there in front of you. Breathing out, sending some weight into that back foot. Imagine someone's pulling back on that back hand as well. Inhaling. I think that's the last one. So we're going to sink into the posture for maybe another breath. Keep looking down the right fingertips with determination, clarity, and an open heart. Using the inhale to come up, lowering the arms on the exhale, bend into the left knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Good, everything is happening now. Movement. We're going to come into, there's a lot of uh, work for the hips there and have a bit of rest restoration for the spine. So we're going to come into a squat. So feet fairly wide apart, feet, feet maybe out at an, uh, an angle. I'm just going to come into this little squat, this little froggy squat. Don't forget, if your heels are off the ground like this, pad, padding, cushions, uh, books, blankets, anything you like. You need to have that, you need to be supported there. Otherwise, it's not going to feel good. I'm a big fan of squats. I think they're really good to practice. So it's difficult now. Just keep practicing. Get yourself close to the earth. This is good. Let the head drop down. So we're going to release the back of the neck of the spine using the weight of the head. So it's just natural. Using gravity, the weight of the body, the breath. Try to get your body in between your knees if you can. Breathe deeply, breathe in through the nostrils. <sighs> Releasing breath out through the mouth. Yeah. And just that feels that really long oh, release, giving it a sound even. It's clearing out, emptying out. Now we're going to do this little twist that I, I love these twists. Left hand on the ground. So it's supporting, and the right arm on the inhale is going to reach up to the sky, to the ceiling, and watch it with your eyes. Not just the eyes, maybe the, the heart wants to see the hand too. And the hand's going to move, so you're going to take that wrist round in one direction. Pay attention to the wrist, and then it's a beautiful dance here, you know, it's a lovely, beautiful thing that's just moving and rotating. And as you go the other way, that's coming down. It's coming down, it's rotating, and it's just like a little leaf coming down to the ground. And then bring that right hand down the ground, inhaling, lift that left arm. Imagine the fingertips are lifting up. The fingernails are doing the work here. Open that hand up, look up to the hand. The heart wants to see the hand. And we rotate that left wrist, keeping contact, watching, observing, being interested in your own body, and the movement and the flow and the clicks and the pops and funny sounds and rotating in the other direction, loosening up this beautiful wrist, extending the arm up and back down, back down, back down, the elbows moving and back to the ground, beautiful. Let's just push into the hands. So we're coming into a rag doll once more. Why not have another lovely easeful posture? Let the head go, 
If you're already if you're looking around and your neck is not getting the race it deserves, bend the knees. Legs are working, upper body completely zeroed out. Breathe into the nostrils. Sigh out for the mouth. Let's rebuild the spine, feeling the energy rising up through vertebrae by vertebrae until we come to standing. The last things that come up will be your shoulders, neck, head. Yeah, enjoy that feeling. Just have a little bit of a wriggle around and enjoy. Balance. Heron balance, moving and breathing. Yes, keep everything moving. This is one of my favorites. So this is how it looks. We're gonna lift, take your weight into your left foot to begin because we're gonna be moving and breathing um, with the balance. So as you lift that right knee, notice I'm opening the hands up again and they're gonna come up on the inhale. You keep that knee lifted up, inhale. And as you turn the hands and you exhale, try to keep that knee and hands moving at the same time. So you, your foot touches the ground just as the hands come down to the body. And then you change feet. So plant that right foot down, open the hands up, inhaling, lift that knee up as high as you can, reach the hands together, turn the palms, and as you breathe out, it's slowly coming down to the ground. So you're coordinating this. A lot of balance and a lot of your attention. Again, open the hands, breathing in. Lift that knee really high. Do this in time with your breath, don't worry. If you are a different pace to me, that's absolutely fine. I'm going very slowly. So inhaling, open the hands up, lift the knee. Make sure that the foot that's on the ground is not gripping. So this is finding some poise and grace. And just feeling also that this, you know, it's light. The fingers are light, it's soft, feathery hands. I'll give you an alternative so you can carry on with what you were, but it's an added, added part, breathing in. As you breathe it out, the arms come down, but instead of the leg coming down, we extend the leg out. So it's a bit stronger. As you inhale and lift the hands up, you lift the knee, and you bring those hands down and lower that leg down. So that might mean that your breath is a bit faster. It is for me, for sure. Breathing in, lift the left knee. Lift it high. As you breathe out, you push the foot out and your hands come back down. As you inhale, lift the hand, you lift the knee. And as you exhale, you lower down. We'll do one more each side. So you can stay with the original version or you can join me in this version. Inhaling. Good. As you exhale, push that heel out. Extend the leg. It's a strong one. Breathing in. Coordination with the breath and the body. Notice how much focus it takes to do this. Inhaling, lift that leg. Breathing out, push that heel out. Hands come down. Inhaling, lots of coordination, body awareness, proprioception, that's uh, awareness of your body in space. And also, you can't think about anything else. So it's super mindful. Balance is, uh, balance is probably one of the most important things, particularly as you age, because it could actually save you. By working on your balance, it could save you from uh, a fall, or it could actually be difficult, you would fall not so badly. So that could save you a whole lot of pain and problems. So work on your balance, if nothing else. And just a little side tip, if you want to just, you know, every day work it into your life, just coming up and down off the heels. This is really fantastic. You can even hold on to the surface in the kitchen when you're waiting for something. Just doing this exercise, it's not just good for your balance, it's also great for your feet, for your legs, your calves, everything. You know, it's, it's a brilliant um, little thing. Bring it into your life. It's a little uh, takeaway for you. Okay, I think it's time yeah, we're going to come into a sun salute. It's all about the movement today. We're not going to do so many. Half sun salute, rather. So it's, uh, we stay with our feet on the ground, rather than stepping back. So feet head to the park. Just check your feet once more. They're still there. Lift the toes, place them down. Feel the ground. Lift the heels and place them down. So feel that physical feeling. Ground. Bring the hands together. Now drop the hands down and inhale. Lift the hands up. Palms are open, look up to where the hands are going, turn the palms, as you breathe out, the hands are coming down, your chest is coming forward, your fingertips are coming to the ground, your knees are bent, touch the ground, look at the ground, look at the toes. As you inhale, you start to straighten the legs, the body lifts up, and the hands just uh, reach the, just below the knees, the shin is just below the knees, that's what I'm looking for. And that chest comes forward, shoulders back, look forwards, and as you exhale, the knees stay straight, or the legs stay straight, and you're doing a forward bend. Breathing, uh, then bend the knees, and on the inhale, lift your eyes, 
lift your hands and inhale, push up through the legs, look up, bring the hands together, breathing out, lower the arms down. And come this way. Breathing in, all the way up. Breathing out, bend the knees. Fingertips come to the ground. Breathing in, look forwards, chest forward, shoulders back, hands below the knees on the shins. Exhaling, keep the legs straight forward, bend. Bend the knees a lot. Breathing in, push up through the feet, lift the eyes, lift the hands. So a strong inhale to help you come up. Inhale's really going to help you, motivate you, inspire you. Inhale, inspiration. Exhale, hands coming down, knees bending, coming down to the earth. Inhaling, inspiration, take the heart forwards. Exhale, forward bend. Bend the knees a lot. Nice fluid movement. Inhale, exhale. Let's go one more time, breathing in all the way up. Breathing out, bend the knees, fingertips come to the ground. All out breath. In breath, hands on the shins, just below the knees, hearts coming forward, look forwards. Exhaling, forward bend. We're going to stay in the forward bend for a minute. So just look at the toes. You might have your fingertips on the floor, you might have your hands flat on the floor, whatever you're doing, just focus on dynamic. So the middle of the chest, the sternum, the heart, wants to come down to the space between the big toes. That's where it wants to go. And the other end of that dynamic line is the base of the spine, wants to go directly up to the ceiling. So focus on that. Make sure you have contact with the ground. If you have to have cushions or books on the ground to do that, please. You're very welcome to do that, but make sure you have contact. It's okay if your fingertips are there, it's okay if your knees are slightly bent. We're thinking about lengthening the leg. It's a much nicer way of thinking about it. We're not pushing the knees back. That is not to be advised. Look at the toes with your eyes, the big toes there. We're not looking at the knees, that's a different posture. Good. Okay. So we're going to just come up on the fingertips here for a moment. And we're going to just send the right foot back, big step. And then we're going to send the left foot back, big step. So we're going to come into a downward dog. Make sure you've got lots of space. You might want to adjust the position between your hands and your feet. Might want a bit of a move around. Find your downward dog. So you're pushing back through the hands. You're looking back towards the legs. You might want to just um, warm up the backs of the legs a bit more, but it should be in a better, better shape by now. Remembering your downward dog, you're uh, tucking the tummy in. We're not breathing into the belly, you're breathing into the chest. Elbows soft, fingers are spread wide, feel the ground. Breathe deeply, dig deep. Now bring the knees slowly down to the ground. Sit back into the heels, bring your forehead to the ground. So this is a good way of rebooting yourself, grounding, earthing that mind, the forehead. So the inner vision, which is the space between the, the eyebrows, that um, taking your focus inwards from that point, reminding you of your inner life, which is what we are practicing when we practice yoga. We're really feeling our body and allowing it to take us inwards. Good. And we just walk the hands forwards, creep them forwards, coming onto the front of the body. Ah, oh, it's gonna feel nice to feel the belly on the ground. Maybe just extend the arms forward, maybe rest. You can either rest on the, the side of the head or you can rest your head on the backs of your hands. I don't know if it feels okay for you. Just going to do a bit of um, back bending here. This is a really nice one. I enjoy this a lot. Um, I was calling this a jellyfish, but <laughs> when I was doing it for the family yoga, it doesn't really, yeah, I don't know why, it just felt good. So bring the forehead to the ground now, extend the fingers out in front of you. As you inhale, lift the right arm and the left leg and the head. As you exhale, lower down. You don't have to bring the head back down to the ground if it doesn't feel comfortable, but sometimes the nose is in the way. Inhaling, lifting the right leg and left arm as high as you can, lifting the chest and breathing out lower down. Love these opposite movements, so good for connecting the diagonals in the body. Great for reviving the energy. And these are very much connected, you know, often you've got a problem in your right shoulder, your left hip will be a very key point. These diagonals are really key in the body. So we uh, play, play with them and it's kind of a bit more interesting as well. Lifting, 
really think about the, the pointing the toe and extending the finger away as well. This really helps with thinking or feeling a sense of length in the spine. Look forwards and lower down. One more, lifting the left arm, the right leg, bring the hands down. And we just roll onto our backs. Find whatever which way you can to come onto lying on your back. And it might be nice to hug the knees at this point. So just hug your knees, rock and roll a little bit on the spine. Okay. And breathe, yeah. Now you can have a lovely bit of ease. How do you feel now? You know, what is the energies? How are you feeling? And emotionally, do you sense any changes in your energy or emotions? It's good to track this, to pay attention. Because it's always changing, always fluctuating. That's normal. It's like the weather, how it's changed during this last hour. We are definitely in tune with that, I feel. Extend the legs and arms to the ceiling. Rotate the wrists and ankles all at the same time. Give that some space. Enjoy. Oh, getting the legs up feels good. Rotating the other way. Good. Hug the knees once more. Let's just place the soles of the feet on the ground. Maybe slide the legs away. Give yourself a full expansion, a full extension. Breathe into the whole of the body and feel yourself supported by the ground. We're just slowing it all down now. Breathe in. Extend the fingers away from the toes, the toes away from the fingers. Just feel. You can just... You might want to move each one arm at a time. I sometimes like to just reach my right arm away, maybe push the left heel away or the right left toe away, and then extend the, the left arm and then push the right heel away. So we're just getting this feeling of everything extending away from the center. Yeah, just feel a bit more open there. Now we're just going to bend the knees, semi supine. This is a great posture. You might want to put a small cushion underneath your head. Um, a folded blanket. It's a good idea if your neck, if, you're, if you set, feel that your, your forehead is below your chin, and you probably want to see it, you need to look in the mirror, then you definitely need to get your head on something, a small cushion or, or a, a block or a folded blanket. It's an idea. So let's just unravel and slow everything down now. You can even let the knees fall together. This is a lovely simple slowing down and coming into a relaxed state so rest the hands on the body just on the, the belly there soft hands just make contact with yourself as you breathe in you're going to take the arms up to soft again these arms are just doing just lifting up like soft feathers inhaling the arms reach the ground so they're not extended it's just soft bent elbows exhaling bring the arms forward and the hands land on the body nice and soft light hands Inhaling, soft, light, weight, arms. And exhaling. So you're inhaling and exhaling through the nostrils. It's soft, it's soft. You'll feel a bit of expansion on that inhale as the arms come up. You feel a bit of expansion, a bit of opening up in the front of the body. But not too extreme. And then we're just letting the back relax on the ground. So you'll feel that, you'll feel that uh, subtle difference. You might even feel this space coming underneath your back when you lift up the arms. That's perfectly good. And then I certainly feel that. And as I bring my hands back, I feel my back flattening and grounding down. Ah, oh, the relaxation of that. So keep it very soft. Close your eyes even. Enjoy the breath and the soft movement. And that we're easing. Still moving and breathing. Still allowing the energies to just move and change not be stopped or blocked by our habits and by our clinging which is where most if not all of our suffering comes from the clinging the holding so just let go let loosen the grip i think it's a better way of putting it so now we're going to come into a relaxation short one short but sweet so you can either just stay in this position you can let your legs slide out into shavasana the corpse and the arms away from the side, away from the body, palms facing the ceiling. And just let you, uh, just come into this, just let your he head rock from one side to the other, closing your eyes if they're not closed already, just to free up any last bits of tension in the neck or in the jaw. Free up the jaw, 
eyes are closed, focus is in. We're going to take a few moments here just to relax. A couple of minutes here, relaxing. Breath coming in and out through the nostrils, soft and easy. A nice image or sense is bring to mind a sleeping baby. And if you've never seen a sleeping baby, then remember what it was like when you were a baby. Your breath was just so soft. It's just, this body is being breathed. This body is being breathed. And the breath is like all the elements around us. We're all just in this beautiful dance. Dance of change, emotions, breath, weather, wind, moons. Just allowing. Allowing all this movement to happen. Allowing the breath. We're not doing anything to the breath anymore. We're just allowing the feeling and experiencing the breath, feeling the other elements, the ground beneath us, the earth, the support, the nurture of this earth. Giving us nurture, warmth, energy, stability, giving us our body, our form. Feeling the flow of the breath, the air around us, this airy quality. Also the flow of the blood in our body, the flow of this water, the change of our emotions, just feeling it all. And also feeling our fire, in our belly, our power, the warmth and light of the sun, our inner light, the light in our hearts. Just feel it all. Shifting and changing. Let's watch this beautiful dance, be part of this dance. So the bell signalling the end of our practice, the end of our relaxation. Take your time though. There is really no hurry. It's important to come out slowly from the relaxation so you really take that into the rest of the day and just to feel that a little bit as well. So much of our life is rushing from one thing to the next, not pausing to reflect. So I invite you to reflect. Move your body, breathe, move. Breathe, expand, enjoy your body. How does it feel now? Is it a bit more accessible to you? Are you feeling a sense of connection to it and your breath? I do, so hopefully you do too. And once you come up to seated, just give yourself body a little rub there. Just enjoy that. Okay. Okay, good. Great job. Let's put the palms together. Make a bit of fire between the hands. Breathing still. Get that breath, that fire. And place the hands over the heart center. Close your eyes. Take that focus inward one more time to this heart space. How does it feel now? Is there more space? Maybe there's not, you know, it's okay. However it is, just acknowledge it. And if you could describe this, you know, to yourself, how does that heart feel? If it was a picture, if it was a piece of art, what would that be? Is it like uh, the wind blowing through it? Is it like, a, I don't know, like an island in a storm? All these different beautiful ways. So when we, when we create a um, metaphor, then it carries the meaning back to us. Thank you so much. Okay.